today is Friday, February 22nd, 2019. It is currently 32 degrees and cloudy. I'm Lilia Wood. Here's what you need to know. Jim Beheim will coach his Syracuse basketball team tomorrow. The coach hit and killed a pedestrian in a highway accident on Wednesday afternoon. He said he felt heartbroken over what happened. And Syracuse Director of Athletics John Wildhack decided this afternoon that Beheim will resume his coaching duties. The Orange will play Duke in the Carrier Dome tomorrow at 6 p.m. And Representative John Kako held the last hearing about the future of Interstate 81 through Syracuse. Hundreds of people came out last night and the community is still divided on how to replace the viaduct. Syracuse um, Citrus TV political analysis analyst Michael Bonari will explain what's next for I-81 on News Live at 6. And prosecutors in New York are preparing criminal charges against Paul Manafort. The former Trump campaign chairman said he could face legal liability even if the president pardons him. The district attorney's office has been investigating Manafort since 2017. And an Illinois state attorney indicted musician R. Kelly on 10 counts of criminal sexual abuse involving four alleged victims. Young women have accused him of abuse for more than two decades. One accuser said Kelly took advantage of her when she was just a young girl. He said, when I was first met R. Kelly that night, I was very happy and excited because I was young and starstruck. However, now that I'm adult, I feel hurt by what he said to me when I was only 16 years old. Now R. Kelly is scheduled to appear in court on Saturday for a bail hearing. That's all the time we have for you on Stitches TV now. For news 24-7, follow Stitches TV on Twitter and Instagram. I'm Lilia Wood. Have a great weekend, Syracuse.